In the mountains of West Virginia, hunting isn't just a hobby, it's a way of life. There are those who play by the rules, and those who don't. As soon as the sun rises, we're gonna go out, no matter if we gotta kill it by, we gotta run it over with a car, shoot it with a rifle, bow, whatever you want. Pow! Shoot it! Boom! Boom! <laughs> They're poachers, senselessly shooting the state animal, the black bear, for the thrill of the kill. They make bear paw soup, and I believe they use the gallbladder. Supposedly, they grind it up and use it as an aphrodisiac. You know, this right here is what we're trying to stop, you know, lazy hunters. Put that bait out, sit up in a tree. What kind of challenge is that? They're killed. Uh, and wasted. Ah, man, there it is. Ah, my, look at that. Sheesh. It's not legal in West Virginia, and we don't want it here. It's a classic bear bait site. You got light bread, you got donuts, uh, a lot of syrup. Uh, if you could smell it, it's a very sweet smell, and that's, that's what they're after is a aromatic smell that comes off of it, and bears are outstanding smellers. These are the guys that need caught right here. Who couldn't kill a bear coming over here to get one of these things? Uh, just, there's just no, there's just no sense in this. Customer Aquatic Wildlife. Hey, is this Brian? Hey, Brian, this is Sergeant Ballard down in West Virginia. We've got a problem around here with some, some bear poachers and stuff, and I'm hoping maybe you can help me out with that. Yeah, not a problem. We can get you a black bear. Probably about 200, 250 pounds tan, so it should be perfect. The front line in the battle against poachers starts with two guys in a workshop in Wisconsin. I just got a call from West Virginia, Department of Natural Resources. Huge problem, uh, black bear poaching, but they need it, like, right now. We build handheld, remote-controlled robotic animals. We build these animals and they look real. They look real here in the shop. You put them outside and they look even more real. Oh yeah, we got this one sold. One more stomper, he needs that right away. We have to make it look as real as possible. If it looks like crap, it ain't gonna get shot. I got the tan hide in the freezer. We got the form here, we got a form, we'll slip it on there. This guy needs it, so we gotta get it out to him. That's for sure a good plan of mount it. Yep, I got everything. You wanna pull the form out of the back room and I'll grab the hide out of the freezer. By the way, Brian and Mike are the only guys in the USA who build robotic decoys. We have to obtain a hide, get that hide cleaned and tanned. I am flushing a bear. I'm taking all of the fat and meat off of it. And then we'll have to have it tanned, and then we'll hit it, get it on the forum. Their fake animals are currently being used by law enforcement agencies nationwide. Bears coming out all shapes and sizes, obviously, so what we're doing here is just figuring out where this bear, where this bear hide that we have fits on this bear form that we bought. I'm sewing the holes that I put in here when I was flushing. So I want to sew it up and it's best to sew it before we put it on the form. There you go, it's starting to look like a bear. Real rough setting the face, just so when we start tugging on this and pulling it, it doesn't move. And once we do that, we're ready to start sewing on the legs. You know, the thing that pisses me off the most is that these guys are off there. They don't care, they just want to kill something and shoot it and kill it and brag about it. These people are doing it for the shits and giggles of it and to be funny. Somebody needs a meat. For gosh sakes, I'd take him to the store and buy him some food. It's unfortunate. We do all this work, take all this time, knock out other people back, and this thing is all it's going to do is get shot. <laughs> Back it in. That's good. Got it. That looks good, don't it, guys? Good. That'll work good. We get that set out in the yeah. brush. Yeah. What do you think, Ed? Good. You got a place we can put that? Got one tonight. Good. Yeah, that hide's perfect, too. And look how thick and shiny and pretty that is. There's going to be a lot of mad poachers out there. <laughs> That's perfect. So the bear's going to be located right here, up here on this hillside right here is going to be the location for the on-site team. I'm going to have a good sight of the bear uh, from where you're going to be located. By the time he shoots and, and starts up the road, 
it should be no problem for the strike team myself to be intercepting them. The main thing I want to emphasize, as always, is be careful. Just remember, these poachers are armed, dangerous, may even be a convicted felon, you know, and they're out there hunting, and, and these are the guys that we want to get out of the woods and, and back where they belong, probably behind bars. Guys, you want to put the head in the front so it don't get damaged. All right, guys, it's time to go. Make it or break it time. This is it. It's 4.20 in the morning on the uh, first day of bow season in West Virginia, and uh, we're heading out to our first location to set the decoy up and, uh, and wait for the hunters to head up a hollow and, and hit the woods. We're going to have the guys operating the decoy controls are going to be up on the hill up here and we need to get the reflect eyes put on the bear make sure that uh, uh, the bear can be seen from from up the road we took uh, some grass and brush and stuff and threw them over the, uh, the wooden base it looks more natural like the bear is actually walking through the woods when, when they haul a shooter uh, i'll go out first and you, you stay in behind we're just trying to cover all angles to make sure that we we don't get anybody to have anybody get away from us. One coming. Oh, we got one coming up Apollo. He shot, he just shot. Good to see that we heard it. Yes. Come on down, move, move. Ready. Put the bow down. Put the bow down. Put it down. Keep your hands up where we can see them, You got any other weapons with you besides this bow? You got any uh, pistols or anything with you? You got a bunch of shotgun shells back here. You don't have a, a shotgun with you or anything? You been drinking today? Old stuff? Pretty cold. Typical opportunist. He, he sees the bear. You know, he jumps out of the truck and shoots it. Obviously, it's too dark to hunt. Takes a shot at the, at the bear, so. Do you know that was a decoy? No. Looks real though, doesn't it? Okay. We're All gonna right. take him to town and, and go ahead and book him up to regional jail for the night. This is to catch a poacher. Put the bow down! Real action. Real arrests. Fake animals. And a new department you're under arrest. New crisis and new robot in every episode. I like it. Put the bow down, partner. You got me nervous. We told you to put it down, you put it down. You guys never had me for him. He got to walk over, get the arrow, <laughs> sticks it on, and boom! Ready. Aim. Any other weapons on you, sir? No. Jail. Thing is definitely looking up. Look it up for the good guys, that is.